Well, I got to be honest with you, even when we, uh, there's no question that our team in terms of individuals had been upgraded with some of the moves we made. Um, but what I had neglected to pay more attention to was fit. And so even though we liked where our players, uh, you know, their capabilities, their age, and uh, is certainly within the plan, I think, um, you know, I got away from a critical part, which is fit, which I've always traditionally been in tune to. And these were things that, you know, you can't put up, um, you know, when I was analyzed, there's a, a lot of gut call in that, but something just didn't seem right to me. And it wasn't the players themselves. I liked a lot of the players, but somehow we didn't seem to have them in the right role. And again, that, that's my fault. A general manager not only has to, you know, upgrade his personnel, but he has to put those, allow the coach to put those players in a position to succeed. So that feeling was there very early for me. And, um, you know, now how you address it during the season can be very difficult, you know. And we kind of addressed it two ways. Obviously, um, bringing up Nolan and King, uh, that certainly was one move. Um, and then bringing in Carter and then bringing up Voinoff, everything started to fit. And it's not only those players, but then I think the classic example is Jared Stoll, where Jared was trying so hard to fill in for the scoring. He moves up on the wing, but he's really not comfortable there. He's just such a trooper. He's going to do everything possible. But then you get him in that hole, in that three hole, and now he starts excelling again. So it has a ripple effect through your whole team. And, and like I said, you know, you're always learning as a general manager, even though I guess I've been around a little while now. Uh, the, those lessons about fit, I, I think I got away from. And fortunately, we were able to get it, get it right the second time.